All right, we're looking at a crankcase breather reroute on a six liter diesel today. Uh, on normal truck, you've got uh, your turbo duct inlet here. And that just attaches to the turbo and to that bracket right there. And on the very bottom, you have an input that actually comes from your crankcase. That's where all your, your uh, fumes or your blow by comes up out of the crankcase, back through that hole, back into the turbo all the way through your uh, charge air intake system and into your intake elbow there. So the whole system gets all full of oil, um, the little silicone cack boots start to get gummed up, they stop sticking, um, it's just a big mess and it makes the turbo a lot harder to clean. Um, if you got the, the crankcase oil going right back up into the turbo, um, you're going to have a lot more carbon and soot up in the turbo. Um, you'd think it'd help lubricate it a little bit, and it might, but it actually makes it more uh, junky inside there. Um, so what you're going to do, um, if you don't have the updated turbo duct, you might want to think about getting that. It's a one-piece design. doesn't have that shitty little bracket on it. Um, pretty good design overall. Um, but all you're going to do is you're going to cut the clamp off, holding, uh, you got two elbows there, and a little hose. You cut the clamp holding that in there, pull that out, stick a half inch uh, PVC cap in there and hose clamp it or uh, use some ultra black or sealant to just seal it in there if you know you're going to leave it. Um, and then you're going to actually use the two elbows that you took out. And I like to use the blue injector connector o-rings uh, because they give you a nice solid fit. It's really hard to get it down in there but once it's done, it's, once it's in, it's locked in for good. Uh, you can use a little green one but it more likely to come out or leak. So you got this elbow there, you're gonna pop that in there. I'm just using standard washer hose and uh, I'm actually using 7 8 inside diameter. You probably want to go with one inch inside diameter. As you can see it's uh, kind of flared up a little bit from the heat. Um, but I happen to be able to get a whole roll of this 7 8 stuff at uh, Habitat for Humanity shop for like 10 bucks. So I, Went with 7 eighths, so I just had to heat it up a little bit to get it in there. That's just standard washer hose. Standard black uh, automotive or washer drain hose. And you're gonna route that back somewhere back here. Either, either do a bung into the exhaust and have it come out with the exhaust, or you can use the other elbow. That right there is the other piece of the elbow that sticks up into the turbo duct. I've just got that on the other end of the hose and it, it just shoots the exhaust gas straight down onto the road. And uh, I'm working on my Blackwater engine rebuild right now and it was actually, it had a blown number seven cylinder. I was actually blowing out burnt oil like constantly. I was going through like like a, a, a gallon of oil every thousand of miles um, coming out that hole because all the burnt gas and blow by will end up coming out this hole. If you've got a healthy truck, you'll see a light haze. Shouldn't be puffing, it'll just be a light haze. So that's it, crankcase reroute. Uh, you can also do it with a, you can get a, an actual uh, oil drain valve where it goes down, comes out of here, goes down to a little canister that separates the oil out with a little drain on it, and then comes back up into your turbo. But you know, what's the point? Uh, might as well just uh, let it breathe. 